Next up is Borka, Queen of War, stars Olga Korolenko as Queen Borka, the warrior queen. She leads a fierce rebellion against the Roman Empire. The movie is directed by Jesse B. Johnson. It also stars Clive Standen, who plays Queen Borka's husband, and some really interesting character actors as well in this movie. The mo- running time is 100 minutes, but actually it's really 95 minutes when the end credits are pretty long. Again, directed by Jesse V. Johnson. Eric Holmes, you interviewed Jesse V. Johnson this week. You're a huge Jesse V. Johnson fan. You know what, Bruce? I, I don't know. I'm glad you didn't see this movie, but who knows? I think you might have kind of liked this movie. Uh, Eric, what did you think of this movie, Borka, Queen of War? Loved it. <laughs> yeah, loved it. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know there was much of an interview with Jesse V. Johnson as much as it was me, Chris Farling. Uh, yeah. Dude, you're so good. I love you. Uh, look, if, if you're like me and you're a fan of Jesse V. Johnson, you know exactly what to expect. Uh, it's just a uh, great action, just completely badass. And with, with story and characters and yeah, the, what, I, I don't know. I, when, where do I start? Um, no, that's it. That's it. Yeah, no, this movie, here's the thing. It's hits theaters Friday, October 27th. But it's also going to be on demand and digital. I so, re- yeah. I really wish I could see this. I, 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 in fact, I'm going to check to see if this is playing in a theater near me. Probably not. But I would say if it is playing in a theater near you, definitely check it out because this has. Uh, if you ever seen the Woman King, this has a lot in common with that. As far as uh, Jesse V. Johnson movies go, uh, if you like the uh, Hell Hath No Fury, this is more that version of jesse b johnson as opposed to like the the debt collector movies but then like the the fights oh my god when uh especially in the last half when bodica is in because like she starts off as kind of like a you know typical like a housewife type uh role housewife mother type role and then as the movie goes on she becomes more and more like a I don't know. It would be a good the queen die. of war. Queen of war. She becomes yeah, a queen of war. yeah. She yeah. She becomes a queen of war and just gets. Oh man, the 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 action scenes and the the war scenes towards the last half are just insane. Especially how she just goes full on beast mode, like just goes in with the the sword and like gets him right in the shoulder and like goes down his body and uh and, like they got one guy like you know uh he'll like knee someone the in the stomach they'll bend over and like bite the back of his neck off like it gets pretty bloody and pretty visceral um if you like those type of movies which i do so good on me for that uh this is uh this is definitely top tier jesse b johnson and it, if you're not a fan of his one i don't know what's wrong with you but you know maybe maybe this wouldn't be for you if you are a fan of jesse b johnson this one's a no-brainer. Absolutely, check this one out, Bruce. When you were a kid, did you ever collect, or Eric, did you did you ever collect comic books? Any of you guys collect comic books when you were a kid? Uh, S- Spawn and Plastic Forks were the only two that I really did. When I was a kid, one of the big one of the biggest things for me, just eight or nine years old, going to the local Seven Eleven, there would be a comic book rack, and there would be all these different comics, and I'd, I'd get to swing it and pick which one I'd want. Jesse V. Johnson, he was talking to you about not following the zeitgeist. And just sort of making movies he wants to make. And I think that's how I feel about when I see Jesse V. Johnson movies, it's like picking different comics out of out of the rack. He has so many different kind of movies to enjoy. And this is just to me a great film. It's the fact that he doesn't make he doesn't have a hundred million dollars to shoot this epic. And even with that, it's a very interesting film. The only it's not a warning, but I just want to set you guys up th- for this. Borica Queen of War, it's 60 minutes of lead up. And it's good storytelling, okay? So you're going to get 60 minutes of story. And before you roll your eyes, I, again, it's well, good, solid storytelling. But then the last 35 minutes, wall-to-wall action with any kind of breathing. So it's just, it really hit home for me. I really enjoyed it. And I'm so glad. This is, again, for me, just it's top tier Jesse P. Johnson level. Like just as good, if not better than Hell Hath No Fury. I think both of them are on, are on the same level. My rating is four and a half stars. What's your rating, Eric? Mine's probably the same, veering on five stars. Actually, probably veering on six point nine stars. But I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably go four and a half. I also want to point out that Olga Kurylenko, amazing. She she needs to be in more action movies. the The way Jesse B. Johnson used her in this movie was just insane. Like oh. the, just just the way her uh, her character developed from the beginning of the movie to the like that. They're two different people. 
Yeah. Like you, you put her side by side. You, you know, those, those aren't the same person. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they just, they, this is just the one person going through some crap and then ended up like this. But Olga Kurilenko, especially during the action scenes, I'm like, why is she not in more action movies? Why is Jesse B. Johnson not doing more? Uh, yes, you're right. The, you just... Theatrical action movies like these. Oh, and yeah. these two are working together. Uh, they got, I, I, forget, I don't have the name of it in front of me, but they got another movie coming out pretty soon, and I'm in for it. But and yeah, th- th- this movie is fantastic. We also have to mention it's written and directed by Jesse B. Johnson. We yes. both love him. Actually, I think Eric, I mean, we, me and Eric really love him. I think Bruce actually gave him a pass. I liked him as well because you, I think Bruce gave a positive review back in the day for Avengement. Mm-hmm. I think Bruce liked Avengement as well. So that's it. Borica Queen of War in theaters Friday, October 27th, on demand and on digital. This is Cinematics.